Welcome students, we have been given this question x raised to the power x is equal to 4 raised to the power x positive 16 we are expected to find the value of x. Now I am going to show you three different ways by which you can solve this question and f extract the value of x. So foremost this is uh, method 1. Now what I am going to do is I am going to be taking log on both sides. and the base for the logarithm is going to be base 4. Now if I were to do this, I would be getting log x raised to the power x to the base 4 is equal to log 4 raised to the power of x positive 16 to the base 4. Now we have a formula which is log a raised to the power b is equal to b times log a. Now, if I were to use this formula, this is going to be equal to x positive 16 times log of 4 to the base 4. Now, we also have a formula which is log a to the base a is equal to 1. Now, using this, this is going to be x positive 16. On the left, I can use the same formula. So, that's going to be x times log of x to the base 4. Now, if I were to divide by x both sides, then I would get log x to the base 4 is equal to x over x positive 16 over x. Now, this can be rewritten as log x to the base 4 is equal to 1 positive 16 over x. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking x to be equal to some 4 times p. So with that, let me use this particular space. So if I were to take this as 2, therefore I can rewrite 2 as log of, in place of x I'm going to substitute 4p to the base 4 is equal to 1 positive 16 over 4p. So 4 divides 16 4 times. So this is going to be 1 positive 4 over p. And on the left, I've got log of 4p. Now there is a formula. Let me write that formula down here. Log of ab is equal to log of a positive log of b. So by that formula, this is going to be rewritten as, let me rewrite this as, log of 4 to the base 4 positive log of p to the base 4. Now clearly this is going to be equal to 1. So I would now have 1 positive log of p to the base 4 is equal to 1 positive 4 over p. Now clearly the 1's that you see on the left and right will be cancelled and that would lead me to log of p to the base 4 is equal to 4 over p. Now what I'm going to do is I would be cross multiplying. So if I cross multiply, I would get p times of log p to the base 4 is equal to 4. Now I've already shown you that if I've got log a raised to the power b, it's written as b times log a. Conversely, if I were to have b times log a, I can rewrite it as log a raised to the power b. So that is exactly I'm, I would be doing. So p times log p to the base 4. I'm going to rewrite that as log of p raised to the power p to the base 4 is equal to 4. Now again, I would be using this formula. So let me just write that formula. So if I have a quantity of log like this, log a to the base p is equal to 1. I can rewrite this as a is equal to b raised to the power 1. So by this, I now have p raised to the power of p is equal to 4 raised to the power of 4, which implies p is equal to 4. But x is equal to 4 times p. So this would mean my x is equal to 4 of 4, which is equal to 16. So this is the solution for us. 
So we have extracted the solution. Now let me just go further in demonstrating the same question by means of another method. So this is going to be method 2. So we've been given x raised to the power x is equal to 4 raised to the power x positive 16 and we expect it to find the value of x. Now let me just take the value of x to be equal to some 4 times p. So if I were to take the original equation as 1, therefore I can rewrite 1 to be as this is going to be 4p raised to the power of 4p is equal to 4 raised to the power of 4p positive 16. Right? Now we got a formula a raised to the power m positive n is equal to a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. So by this formula I can rewrite this as 4 raised to the power of 4p multiplied with 4 raised to the power of 16. On the left I've got 4 raised to the I mean 4 times p raised to the power of 4p. Now I would move this to the left and that would mean I would now have 4p raised to the power of 4p divided by 4 raised to the power of 4p is equal to 4 raised to the power of 16. Now I can rewrite this as 4 raised to the power of 4p multiplied with p raised to the power of 4p divided by 4 raised to the power of 4p is equal to 4 raised to the power of 16. Right? Now I can cancel 4 raised to the power of 4p with 4 raised to the power of 4p. So that would mean I now have p raised to the power of 4p is equal to 4 raised to the power of 16. So this is what I've got. Now taking fourth root, let me write that down. We would get p raised to the power of 4p raised to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to 4 raised to the power of 16 raised to the power of 1 over 4. So this is going to be p raised to the power of p is equal to 4 raised to the power of 4 which means p is equal to 4 which means we have taken the value of x to be equal to 4p x is equal to 4p of 4 which is equal to 16 so we've got the value for x now the question comes is this the only solution x is equal to 16 is this the only solution so for that I would be using the third method to ascertain that x is equal to 16 is indeed the only solution. Okay, using this method we would be able to do two important things. First one, we would be able to decide or find the lower bound of x. Lower bound of x. So this is very important. Next, we would also be able to ascertain the solution of x. So these two th things we would be able to do it. Of course, we would also be able to find the value of x. Now to do that, what I would be doing, I would start off by taking x raised to the power x is equal to 4 raised to the power x positive 16. Then I would take log both sides. Of course, it is base 4. Now, if I were to do that, I would be having log x raised to the power x to the base 4 is equal to log 4 raised to the power x positive 16 to the base 4, which can be rewritten as x positive 16 times log 4 to the base 4. On the left it's going to be x times log x to the base 4. So this is going to be x positive 16 and on the left I've got x times log x to the base 4. I'm pushing the x down so that would mean I got log x to the base 4 is equal to x divided by x will give me 1 followed by 16 over x. So I have achieved this. Now clearly if you were to observe the question x raised to the power x is equal to 4 raised to the power x positive 16. So from here clearly we can conclude that x should be greater than 1. 
because for the fact if x is equal to 0 we have a situation where we will have to deal with something which is undefined and when x is equal to 1 the problem goes off to a mode of obsolescence. So having mentioned that clearly if we were to observe the right hand side clearly we can see that 1 positive 16 over x is going to be greater than 1. So this would mean that log x to the base 4 is greater than 1 and this in turn would be x would be greater than 4 raised to the power 1 which means x is greater than 4. Now I was able to arrive at this because of the properties of logarithms. So now we have a lower bound which states that x should definitely be greater than 4. Okay, now the question comes, whatever value that we have obtained for x, is that the penultimate value or is it the only value? That should be the important point or important fact that we will have to ascertain. So for that, let us just consider f of x to be equal to log of x to the base 4. And now I'm going to use calculus. I will be finding f dash of x. Now, uh, differentiation of log x is going to be 1 over x. Of course, before I could differentiate, what I want to do is, I would want to convert this base 4 logarithm into natural logarithm. So for that, I will have to use this function f of x. I'm rewriting the function f of x as ln of x to the base e divided by ln of 4 to the base e. So this can be rewritten as 1 over ln of 4 to the base e of ln x. Now of course I don't need to write base e there, but just for being consistent I have to place it there. Now I am going to find f dash of x. Now differentiation, of course even if you were to apply UB method, this is going to be treated as a constant. So it's going to be 1 over ln 4 times differentiation of ln x will give me 1 over x. I can rewrite this as 1 over x times of ln 4. Now this is strictly greater than 0. So that means this would mean that the function f of x is increasing. So have, have that in one corner of your mind. Now let me use this particular space. Now let me consider the other side. So I'm going to start off here. g of x is equal to 1 positive 16 over x. I'm going to obtain g dash of x. That's going to be differentiation of 1 is going to be 0. Differentiation of 16 over x would give me negative 16 over x squared. Now this is less than 0, right? Because we got the negative sign there. No matter what the value of x is, this is going to be less than 0. So this would mean that my g of x is a decreasing function. Now we got an increasing function and we got a decreasing function and the only possibility of these two functions meeting would just be one point. So this would mean that f of x and g of x will only meet at one point. So what does this mean? This means there is there x is just one x. So we have come to that point. Now the next possible or the next step is to find the value of x. Now I have illustrated the other methods in clearly from here onwards if you were to focus on this particular equation I have already used this particular equation to show you. See, in the previous method, if you were to go back to the previous method, then clearly I have used the same system. But the only difference is that in this case, I have not ascertained the value of x to be just one value. I did not show that here. But of course, I have solved the value for x here. So all we need to do is just apply one of these methods and extract the value of x as we have done it. So that's a good point to stop. Thank you, students.